Don't watch the messenger. God will take it away from you. He'll share his glory with nobody. Said William Branham is our Lord. Baptizing in the name of William Branham. That is a horrible, disgraceful, ungodly lie of the devil. I am your brother. Now remember, I am not Jesus Christ. I am your brother, a sinner saved by grace. I'm like you are. Greetings, friends, in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The purpose of this video is to declare that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to baptize in water, and the name William Marion Branham should never be used to baptize any believer in Jesus Christ, nor the titles Father, Son, Holy Ghost should not be used in water baptism. I want to thank the brother from Uganda who shared with me that this might be a helpful video to make and that people could be benefited from hearing quotes from Brother Branham himself and also scriptures that would help the saints to know that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is the only name that should be used in water baptism. Now, of course, this may be obvious to many of us in the modernized and industrialized nations, but it seems to me that this brother's nation, Uganda, has numerous message churches that have not heard all the sermons of Brother Branham, have not heard all the quotes from Brother Branham, and therefore they're not aware that Brother Branham openly condemned anyone who would baptize in his name and then would also warn people to not baptize in the titles Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So let's begin with the scripture and then we'll look at five quotes from Brother Branham. Here's a chart from my 2021 book called The Twelve New Testament Mysteries that shows the Lord Jesus Christ's baptism is the correct baptism. It's the baptism that the apostles use in the book of Acts in Acts 2.38, Acts 8.16, Acts 10.48, Acts 19.5, and Acts 22, verse 16. And remember, 10 days after Jesus told the disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Peter and the apostles baptized 3,000 souls in the name of Jesus Christ. And of course, we know this must have been the Lord Jesus Christ. For that is the full name of God's revelation of God manifest in the flesh. Now here's a scripture that helped the brother from Uganda, 1 Corinthians 1, verses 12 through 15. Paul says, Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, I am of Apollos, and I have Cephas, and I have Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I baptized in mine own name. This is a very important scripture to show that believers in this book of Acts church were being tempted to be baptized in a different name other than the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And notice Paul says in verse 13, you should be baptized in the name of the one that was crucified for you. And that was the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul was not crucified for us. William Branham was not crucified for us. Nor was Martin Luther or John Wesley. Only the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified for our sins. and Therefore, baptism should only be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But notice, Satan is right there around the true believers trying to deceive them with his Antichrist spirit. And he's trying to deceive them to be baptized in a different name other than the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, this is a regular occurrence in Scripture where Satan is trying to deceive people into worshiping the creation rather than the creator. Like Nebuchadnezzar idolized Daniel in Daniel 2, verse 46. Nebuchadnezzar was going to make offerings in Daniel's honor, which was, of course, idolatry. Remember also, John the Baptist was mistaken for the Christ in Luke 3, 15 to 16. Paul and Barnabas were called gods and were going to be worshipped in Acts 14, 11, but they stopped it. And then here, as we just read, Paul was thankful he baptized none of the Corinthians because they would have said he baptized them in Paul's name or his own name. So this shows us that Satan is always around the believers, trying to deceive them, trying to get the focus off of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the true believers cannot be deceived. The elect cannot be deceived. And then God will call some elect out of those who are deceived so that they will not be deceived anymore. Next, I want to play a quote where Brother Ram said, God will take the messenger away from you if you pay attention to the messenger more than the message. And this is from an absolute 1963, January 27th. And I believe this is why God took Brother Random off the scene at such a young age, but I don't know. But this is the quote that makes me think that. Too many people around Brother Branham idolized him rather than focusing on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible, the Holy Ghost, 
the Bible-based message, the end-time message that God sent to us. Let's listen to the quote. If you haven't got that absolute noun, get it. If you'd like to have that absolute, that assurance in your heart of the Holy Spirit, raise your hand and say, I want something that will punctuate the Word of God. And I see the Word of God made manifest. God bless you. It's all over the building. Thank you. I'm only telling you the truth, friend. Don't let it pass by you. I'm not claiming I'm nothing. I'm your brother. Don't you pay attention to a messenger. You watch the message. Don't watch the messenger. God will take it away from you. He'll share his glory with nobody. Right? Don't you watch the messenger. Watch the message. Here's a second quote. Now, this is a long quote. I think it's over nine minutes. It's from Revelation chapter 5, part 1, 1961. In this quote, Brother Branham condemns anyone that would call him the Lord Jesus Christ or try to baptize in the name of William Branham. Notice, here's all the names Brother Branham called this evil spirit. Brother Branham called it Antichrist, horrible, disgraceful, an ungodly lie of the devil. He called it the devil's gutter pipe to baptize in the name of William Branham or to say that William Branham is Jesus Christ. He also called this evil spirit a yellow and black serpent. He called it a spirit. And then Brother Ram said, Thus saith the Lord, it's an error to say that William Branham is Jesus Christ. He said it's falsely, it's wrong. Have nothing to do with it, this lying evil spirit that would tell you to baptize in the name of William Branham. Let's listen to the quote. If there's anything that has been in my heart to do was to... Uh, hear those words of our Lord Jesus at the end of this journey to say it was well done my good and faithful servant and many times I have said I'd like to have been standing there when he said come unto me but I did desire to hear it say well done that I did not hear the voice in the original say come unto me back in the times of the writing of the Bible. But I do desire to hear it say, well done. Amen. And if anything I always wanted to be and desires of my heart to be was a true servant to Jesus Christ, Amen. my Lord and Savior. I want my testimony to be clean, clear cut. That... I stood in all my mistakes, I yet loved him with all my heart. And I do that this morning with all my heart. And because of that, it forces me to say, I'm leaving the ministry. Uh, is because that there is something arose up amongst the people that's caused me to do it. That is, that I have been taken from my bracket of a minister or a brother in being called Jesus Christ. And so, uh, call, and that would brand me as an antichrist. And I'll meet God as a quitter before I would meet him as an antichrist to take away from him. Uh, I heard of it a, a few years ago and I thought it was a joke. And I met a couple of brethren, which I don't see neither one of them, in the meeting this morning, two or three of them, one time in a fishing trip, and they approached me by the subject of saying, Brother Branham, aren't you the anointed Messiah, the Christ? And I put my arms around the neck of both brethren, or all of them, and I said, Brethren, as much as I have tried to be a true servant of Christ, I would not that you would say such a thing as that. And if it would ever be said of me, then I will leave the field with a clear conscience. And you who do that will be responsible for every soul that I would have saved during that time, see, for taking me from the field. And uh, I thought that ended it, and I heard it a few more times, but it wasn't so. And the other day in Canada, a brother showed me a little ticket of a thing he's packed in his pocket said, William Branham is our Lord. Baptizing in the name of William Branham and a little, a precious, if it had been an enemy, if it had been my enemy, I would have known it was a joke. 
but a precious darling brother come up to confess his sins and his wrongs and see his faith in me as being Jesus Christ. And I have got letters at home and calls from Chicago and different places asking me if I believe that dogma. And I got all kinds of letters that's come in the last few days and calls from different places. So, uh, uh, saying that I was Christ. Brethren, that is a horrible, disgraceful, ungodly lie of the devil. I am your brother. Now, that would run any person from the field. That would make anyone that loves Christ run from the very thing. I went to the Lord here not long ago when I first heard it about a year ago. And then I went to the Lord, and he referred to me to the scripture that when John came forth of preaching, that they hadn't had a prophet on the earth for so many years until it would, uh, they was all amazed in their hearts thinking maybe John was the Messiah. So then I, John, they went and asked him, and he said that he was not. You read that Luke, the uh, third chapter, 15th verse. And so then... But that kind of quietened down, so I let it go like that. But then when it comes to this, then I know that something must be done. Now I say this, that the visions and the angel of the Lord that appeared at the river, if this is to be my last message or last thing to the church, to the world, those things are truth as far as the angel of the Lord. And I stood still if people called me a prophet many times because a prophet in the English Testament is just a preacher, a prophesier, foreteller of the word and so forth. I'd stand for that because you could just kind of push that down. But when it comes to be calling anointed Christ or something, that was too much for me. So I just couldn't stand that. And so then about, I come, after leaving the meeting at Canada, I found out that way up in the Eskimos or the Indians up there, it got among them. And so it just tore me all up in the hunting trip that I had planned so long, I could not take it. I was afraid of a hunting accident, if you understand what I mean. I got so shaky, worse than I am standing here now. And I just couldn't stand it any longer to think that 31 years of ministry went down the devil's gutter pipe into the... When I'm gone, what will they say? There he is. That's exactly what it was. And all the influence that I had upon the people, then you see where it would be? I'd be an antichrist. And I just couldn't stand it. I thought I'd rather die here in the woods like I fell on my gun or something. And, and I seen I was, then I thought about my little Joseph and so forth that had to be raised and I was no condition to hunt. So I just left the woods and come home. And I've been for about eight or ten days in such a fix I I thought I was losing my mind. And I just asked everybody to stay away from me and let me alone because I'm in such a fix and nervous and upset and all tore to pieces. And I wondered if it would have been some enemy of mine, it would have been all right, but I would just laugh at it and went on. But when it comes to be precious brothers, precious sisters, then that's what hurt me. And I said, Lord... The great, thing's too great for me. I'll just have to walk out and leave it in your hands. I, I don't know nothing else to do. A few nights ago, to make it sure, I had a, a visitation from the Lord. And I seen a precious one, a baby, a, a serpent, which was yellow and black, and telling me and right along, and, and the thing struck me on the leg. But the blood was so rich it didn't take effect on me. And I looked down... There's where I've been bit before. And I turned quickly with a gun and shot the, the thing, and it hit it right in the middle of the thing. And the brother said, I turned with my gun to shoot its head off. And he said, don't do that. Just pick up the stick laying there by you. And when I turned my back to pick up the stick, it wiggled into some water, just a small puddle of water. And I said, well, it can't hurt very much longer now because I believe... The brother realizes, the brethren, that what happened. I said, it'll, it's mortally wounded, so it'll die. And I asked 
Many of my members in my church here uh, in this tabernacle with Brother Neville and I has come approaching me with that same question. Brothers, sisters, haven't I tried to be a true servant of Christ before you? Yeah. Haven't I tried to be your brother? Yeah. I, wherever it is, it's a spirit on precious people. Many people has asked me that, but it's, it's a spirit. But I hope that the day that it receives a deadly wound and will die out quickly so I can return back to the ministry. Until then, I'll ask you each one, pray for me. I don't know what I'll do. My place up for sale. I just can't stand it. I, I, I stay around, I'll go completely stark mad. And I, I ask you to pray for me. And remember, if you've ever believed me, if you ever believe me to be a servant of Christ, remember, that is an error. It's falsely, thus saith the Lord. It is wrong, have nothing to do with it. I am your brother. Let us bow our heads. And the next quote is from A True Sign That's Overlooked, 1961. Brother Ram said, Thus saith the Lord, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, baptism is wrong. And he commands the people to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ as the true baptism. He never commanded anyone to baptize in the name of William Branham. That's blasphemy. That's heresy. That's an evil spirit. That's an antichrist spirit. We only baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's listen to the quote. And out of that same group, after the death of Paul, they finally formed out of that bunch of bishops and high ups to the Nicene Council and that formed the Catholic Church. Right. Getting away from the Word of God. There come in your Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I challenge anybody, anywhere, any nation to disprove it. Amen. 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 Thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. The baptism using the title of Father, Son, Holy Ghost is false. Amen. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. 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 I command every one of you. On here on tape that hasn't been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, be baptized again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul in Acts 5, 9, or 19, 5, said, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? They said, We don't know where it be any Holy Ghost. Said then, What was you baptized? They said, We've been baptized, but not in Christian baptism. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not Christian baptism. Amen. No Christian was ever baptized like that in the Bible or for hundreds of years after the Bible. It's a Catholic creed and not a Christian doctrine. Show me in the Bible. Amen. It's a, it's a fraud. It's a working of devils. Amen. I don't mean to say the people that's baptized like that are that way. God's got a many a person out there today that don't know no better. But the hour has come. Amen. We've got to get back to the Word if we expect God to work in this Amen. day like He did then. And the next quote from Greater Than Solomon is here now, 1964. Brother Ram plainly said, I am not Jesus Christ. I'm your brother, a sinner saved by grace. Jesus Christ never sinned. Jesus Christ was sinless. He became sin, but He never sinned. So clearly, Brother Ram said, I am not Jesus Christ, just like John the Baptist said, I am not the Christ. Brother Branham had scriptures he fulfilled, just like John the Baptist had scriptures he fulfilled, but neither John the Baptist nor William Branham was Jesus Christ. Let's listen to the quote. Now remember, I am not Jesus Christ. I'm your brother, a sinner saved by grace. I'm like you are. But it's Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit that shared with us, keeping his word. He don't have to do this. He, but he promised he would do it. Jesus didn't have to heal the sick, but the Bible said he did it that it might be fulfilled, which was promised of him. In the next quote, Brother Ram said, There is not any other way to be baptized than the Lord Jesus Christ's baptism in Scripture. And we must do everything by the Scripture. So the Scripture never says to baptize in the name of Paul or Apollos or William Branham or anyone else. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only Scripture used for baptism. Let's listen to the quote. But the whole thing has been wound up. Why, there's only one God. Amen. 
And his name is Jesus Christ. And there's not another name under heaven but that. There's not one text of Scripture nowhere in the Bible where anybody was ever baptized in any other way but in the name of Jesus Christ. Not one time was any of the new church or the church of Jesus Christ ever sprinkled, poured, or anything else. Not one time was ever a ceremony used, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It's creeds and things. The final quote is from Going Beyond the Camp, 1964. Brother Ram said, Woe to them that baptize differently than the Lord Jesus Christ. So we can apply that to the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. If the people know better, if they don't know better, God doesn't hold that against them. And also, woe to them that would baptize in the name of William Branham. Because William Branham was not crucified for us. The Lord Jesus Christ was crucified for us. Let's listen to the quote. There's not one scripture in the Bible where anybody was ever baptized in any other way but in the name of Jesus Christ. The commission of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is only go ye therefore teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Not in the not call this title over them, but baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody in the Bible was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and the Bible says that whosoever shall take one word out of it or add one word to it in any way, woe unto them. So I have enough I have to fear about besides adding something or taking it from the Scripture. It's got me in trouble many times, but I stay right there. He is my defense. It's caused me to separate from a many friend. They've parted from me because of that. But just as long as I keep this friend here, the Lord Jesus, and He is the Word. No matter rugged be the path, hard is the way, He comes the same way. And if they call the master of the house, Beelzebub, how much more will they call those of His disciples? In closing, friends, I hope this video was a blessing. I'm thankful to the brother from Uganda for sharing this topic with me. You know, here in America, where I live in Ohio, I don't know of any churches that baptize in the name of William Branham. Praise God for that. Baptism should only be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But where this brother lives in Uganda, apparently there's numerous churches that are deceived by Satan and are baptizing in the name of William Branham. So let's pray for those churches that they'll repent. Maybe God will use this video or the teachings and quotes on this video to help those people come out of their idolatry, their antichrist system. So I'll pray for them now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, that your great Holy Spirit will go out to these people who are deceived and set them free through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The crucified one, the Lord Jesus Christ. May this brother who has the burden for these deceived ones, may you anoint him to go preach it to them or share it with them somehow. And Lord, I know all your elect will be set free. So we thank you for that. Help us to be a voice against these evil spirits and help us to be a voice for the truth, the true water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask all this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have any questions, concerns, or testimonies about this video, please contact me. God bless you, and may Jesus Christ be the desire of your heart.